What's going on guys, welcome back to another video, and this is an army show to make a haunted house. Uh, since Halloween's right around the corner, uh, I decided to make one of these. Also, the thumbnail one is a lot different, that is the one that I built in this tutorial. I'm not gonna go specifically and say, okay, yeah, you place this block as this for the weathered, I'm gonna basically say do this, and then... The weathering looks a lot better on the other one, because I added roof weathering and also wall weathering. So, with that being said, enjoy the tutorial. Alright, so the space made for this a 25 by 27, and the materials we're needing are, to start off, uh, stone bricks, stone brick stairs, stone brick slabs, stone brick walls, uh, sprucewood planks, I guess. <laughs> Crimson door. Tinted glass. We'll go polished deep slate slabs. And nether brick slabs. You also need nether brick stairs, nether brick blocks, cobblestone blocks. And iron bars and then the most variety of any block that has a most variety that we are using which is any of this which is literally every single one of the stone bricks and uh, cobblestone um also you can use crack stone bricks I didn't think about that now what I'm going to do is I'm going to build it all as normal stone brick and then I'm going to go back at the end and then switch some of it to mossy I just think that's easier because when I was originally building this it's so many more materials to juggle you're talking a hot bar, or a hot bar? Yeah, a hot bar full of just the stone bricks, and then the mossy versions of them. And then you'll have one other space for spruce or whatever. It, it just isn't convenient that way, so I am doing it a different way. So this build is also symmetrical, and that is, I think, based off, I want to call it, honestly, the Bates Mansion. Don't quote me on that, though. Uh... But yeah, what you want to do is just start from the front left hand corner of your 25 by 27 grid cough card minute or the front right hand corner. You want to count right by 10. And going right, you want to place a stone brick. Three stone brick stairs and a stone brick. You don't want to bring either stone brick back by one. Out by four. And, sorry, back by three. We'll... Yeah, it's just like that. Then what you want to do is you want to bring either stone brick backward by an additional one. Then bring them inward by two. Four diagonally inward by one and connect together in the middle. So you should have this shape. It kind of looks like Batman. Uh... <laughs> Now it looks more like Batman. A weird Batman. Um, you don't want to fill in the center of that in with stone bricks. This is the little front porch area. Front porch looks best, in my opinion, on this build. I do really like how that turned out. Everything else is okay. But if you want to use this as, like... If you're making, like, a Victorian-style town or something, I think this would be a good building to just clean it up and use it. Like, maybe... I don't know. Switch out the tinted glass for black st black stained glass or gray or whatever you want to use. Uh, probably make the roof like dark oak or deep slate bricks or something else other than another brick. Because another brick is kind of dark. And then you could leave the porch as is, just like has basically you could build the house probably as I am building it, except just remove the tinted or just replace the tinted glass and maybe the roof depending on your tastes. But what you want to do now is, at the stone brick to the left and the right of the stairs, you want to place a stone brick wall, and then bring it back with a stone brick. Bring either one outward with an upside down stone brick slab. Then a stone brick. Then an upside down stone brick slab. Then a stone brick. Then back with an upside down stone brick slab. Stone brick. Upset on stone brick slab, stone brick. And that should give you this effect, which is like a little railing. You could even, honestly, you could, if you ever wanted to, use this on any house. 
Obviously, I would not make it stone bricks. I would probably make it... I don't actually know. Maybe sandstone or endstone bricks. I don't know if it's a weird one. But they, they need to add smooth quartz walls. That would make my suburban houses specifically ten times better. Modern houses too, but they aren't as, they aren't as relevant. Because I already think that they don't need... They don't have anything, like, modern houses don't have anything about them that I feel like needs to be changed. Suburban houses have little things that I feel like just can be upgraded. Not that saying modern houses can't be upgraded, but I just, I just, I'm happy with how modern houses are. I'm happy with how suburban houses are too, but just, you know. Anyways, I want to bring all these little stone bricks here up by three with stone brick walls. And then, uh, I don't know, actually, I don't know where I was, what I was going to say. But yeah, like, looking at the modern houses over there, I definitely like that one. And then the suburban house, so you can see past it. That one's okay. And then once you do that, you should have this. You don't want to bring... You have the front six stone brick wall towers. You want to bring each one up with a stone brick stair facing right. Except for this far right block, place a block. Or stone brick block on top of... So you should have this. You don't want to bring each stone brick stair that's facing right, right with a stone brick slab, except for the stone brick block at the end. That one's irrelevant. And then you're gonna have a two block gap, and you want to end that gap at the left block of it. So basically, right of this slab, place a stone brick stair facing right, and then a stone brick slab to the right of it. Just like that. If you want with that block, you can make it a stone brick stair facing left instead. However, that does make your gaps uneven. So. It's up to you. No, what it's not up to is me destroying blocks, that's for sure. And then, you basically want to bring this kind of back. So, I know that's a dumb explanation, but basically, you want to place on top of the two right stone brick wall towers, a stone brick, and on top of the two left ones, stone brick stair facing right, and then slabs connecting them all together. And from above, you should have this. And from down here, you should have that. You then want to place there are stone brick slabs on top of all of that. At uh, how? <laughs> how does that work? Alrighty then. Also, I don't know if my voice is like dead or not, but uh, it might be. I was at a hockey game two days ago, and I didn't record a video yesterday. And I don't know if it's because of that, or if my voice is just doesn't feel like working today, or if it's completely fine and I'm just going crazy, which is also an app. Which is also a possibility. But yeah, that's your porch. Basically complete. Not fully, though. So what you want to do is you want to place a row of upset on nether brick slabs inward up, inward and upward diagonally from that row of stone brick slabs that we just placed. And it should give you something sort of like... Not like that, that's for sure. Something like this. You then want to bring it inward on all sides by one, and then we'll leave it off at there for a sec. Because I do not remember... Okay, never mind. But, yeah, we'll leave it. It'll be easier to do it when we have a wall in place. So, what you want to do is you basically want to come... Um, Recalc. <laughs> you basically want to come inside your porch. So you're in a porch. That That's all good. So you have the little, like, seven stone bricks here that are kind of carved out of the floor. You want to find the middle, which isn't that hard. It's the middle of the porch. And you want to place a stone brick moving backward and place a crimson door on it. Bring that crimson door left and right with three spruce wood planks. And you do want to make those spruce wood planks two blocks tall. So everything here is the same height. That's just for measurement reasons. You then want to place five rows of spruce wood planks on top of that little section. And it should stick out by a full block over the uh, roof. And then the roof will have a gap, which we'll fill in in a moment here. But yeah, just like that. 
coming along nicely. And then you can right up against this, the top block of this wall. You can just place another brick slabs. And that should give you this. Now what you want to do is you want to bring... One second. I cannot count. Okay. You want to bring the far left and the far right blocks of this little row of seven spruce planks up by six. Connect them together at the top. And then you're going to have a big square. And you want to fill that in a block back with tinted glass. So this is basically... This is the only window that's like this. Because I was trying to figure out how to give it detail. And um, I had to push it back a block for that. <laughs> this, I don't know like how necessarily... I don't want to say... It's not... It is, it's relevant. But like something like this, I would not have ever done. I would never have pushed a window back like this. Little Nightmares too, of course. That, I think that is out of all of my projects. I think that one has helped me build, like, has improved my building skills the most. Because it's given me the most, like, little details and stuff. And granted, it's all big, but, uh, ah, the, the ir irony there. Uh, then what you want to do is you want to place a row of stone brick walls down the middle of, the, or I guess through the middle of the window. Just like that. And it should be in line with the spruce. So it should look like this, and that looks very, very, very bad. This actually looks kind of fancy. And then you want to bring that top block forward with an upstone stone brick slab. Bring that stone brick side slab upward diagonally to the left and upward diagonally to the right by half a block. And then go down diagonally to the left and down diagonally to the right from that by half a block. And then also uh, bring it back so it is basically under this little window. Basically like on the underside of the top of the window. That makes sense. The underside of the top of the window. That probably doesn't make sense, but you should have this. Doesn't look too hard, hopefully. Kind of looks like it has an eyebrow, but... Um, it looks very stupid right now. I think it's actually too much gray. I think that's the issue that we're having here. Oh, wait, hang on. I want to check something. Okay, we don't have cracked stone brick stairs, slabs, or walls, which kind of sucks. Actually, do we have walls? We might have walls. No, we don't. Cool. Um, now what you want to do is you want to come to the left side or the right side. It's up to you. I'm going to base this off of the left side. So what you want to do is you want to place from the bottom of this arrow a spruce wood planks that is backward diagonally to the left by one. And it wants to be, I actually don't know how tall it is, is going to be. So just make it one block tall. Make it one block tall. Sorry. If you already did stuff. You then want to bring it left by... Seven. Just like that. And then you can do the same thing on the other side. So back diagonally to the right by one. With spruce on the bottom and then right by seven. And that should give you this. That's how wide your house is. If you want to double the scale or something, you can. Um, I'm not quite sure what, like, generally... I don't really have any big recommendations for like sizing or anything if you want to make it bigger another thing that you could do is if you're making this for like a map you could have it so like you open the door and it's like say it's a big foyer it's like a big foyer that's what you want and then maybe i don't know each door like teleports you or no because the windows are weird i guess yeah we could you could figure that out basically like black out the windows or something from the outside and have it like almost all of it be the foyer and then each door looks like teleports you to a different room or something like that, which is in a different spot. I'd say that's best. And on Windows, you can figure out. But yeah, make the inside feel bigger than it should, which is kind of correct, I guess. Then what you want to do is going, we're going to say from the inside. So you want to come inside the porch again and going from this little row going, we'll say right to left, because I'm starting on the side. You want to place four spruce with blanks. Three tinted glass, one spruce blank. Copy that row two more times. And you want to place three rows of spruce on top of that. Looks very dumb like that. Now going right to left again on the side, so from the inside towards the outside, you want to place three spruce planks. 
three tinted glass, two spruce planks. Copy that row two more times. That was a very weird sound, but okay. And then you want to place one row of spruce wood planks on top of that. I know those windows are misaligned and like right now it looks very dumb, but I, in the end I think it's for the better because then you're going to have a weird space there and it feels like you want to put another window there, but if you put another window there it'll look extraordinarily stupid. Actually they won't even fit because I made this bigger than it originally was. You then want to basically copy this on the other side, so going, we'll say inward, inside to outside you want to place four spruce wood planks, three tinted glass spruce wood planks this is at the bottom. Copy that row two more times. Place three rows of spruce on top of that. And then going inside to outside, you want to place three spruce planks. Three tinted glass. Two spruce planks. Copy that row two more times. And you want to place the rest of spruce wood planks on top of that. Again looks very stupid right now very dumb i don't actually know how this ended up looking good in the end i don't know if the i think the mossy makes a huge difference looking at it <laughs> but we'll see you later so um yeah there's the front pretty much all done we have details actually let's do the details shall we so what you want to do is you want to below each three by three window you want to place it in the spruce below it just three ups on stone brick stops going across. And that will just give it a little bit of an underhang, I guess, if you will. Or a little, like, windowsill. Just like that. And there's the tops of them. And the bot block, uh, the spruce blank above the middle, you want to place a stone brick slab on. That, that's not right. Normal one. Not an up stone one. And then you want to bring it down diagonally to the right and also down diagonally to the left by half a block. And it should be over the top half of the corners. Not like that. Like that. <laughs> there we go. Just like that. And then you can take your stone bricks and at the bottom here on the base you can just bring the stone bricks out by, what is it, six? Yeah, six. At the back there and then leave it for now. There you go. Other than the roof and the trimming of the roof and everything, that's your front done. And the uh, mossy stuff, which we'll do at the end. I'm going to do that at the end with you. Uh, just because I think it's easier that way. Again, inventory space specifically. So, the left and the right are exactly the same. So, if you want to start at the left, start at the left. If you want to start at the right, start at the right. I'm going to start at the left. And what you want to do is you want to bring the stone brick here backward by 21. Just like that. Also, quick side note, if you're doing both walls at the same time, um, back is also flat. And um, so I guess while I'm doing one of the sides, or once while I do this side, let's say if you're doing, if you manage to do both while I do one, then um, good job. And then you can fill in the back while I'm working on the other one. And then you could even move on to mossing and stuff if you wanted to save some time. So what you want to do is you want to take this bottom spruce or plank and you want to bring it back by 19. So it should be one block short on the stone brick, just like that. Then going front to back, you want to place, one sec, I need to make sure I know this number. Three spruce wood blanks, I could have just turned around or whatever. <laughs> Three tinted glass. Six spruce planks. Three tinted glass. Four spruce planks. Copy that row two more times. I do want to make these yearly now as well because I do really, I did really enjoy making this one. It was hard. I think it's harder than you think it is to make one of these. You then want to place three rows of spruce wood planks on top of that. But like you'd expect it to probably be like, oh yeah, it's a normal. Okay, yeah, it's a normal house. But it's a lot more detailed. It's a lot more aging. It's a lot more like, how do I make this look kind of spooky, kind of old, kind of everything. Who knows, Halloween's in what? It'll be, what's today? 
I don't know my days of the week anymore. You'll probably be seeing this the 19th, so Holland will be in like 12 days, and I could have time to make another one. If this one does well, I'll make another one. We'll, we'll say that. If it does, I'll say I need to have a deadline of the 26th that I make my decision. But then it might not even come out till like the 31st. Actually, that'd be perfect. I don't know. I have another one on the 31st. That's genius. Then going front to back again on top of that, you want to place three spruce blanks. Three tinted glass. Six spruce planks. Three tinted glass. Four spruce planks. Copy that row two more times. And place the rest spruce on top of that. Also looks stupid, although not as stupid. I actually really like the tinted glass. It's so smooth. Like, compared to the... Compared to the other glasses, like, comparing it to black stained glass blocks, it just feels a lot more smooth, which I like. Um, then what you want to do is, again, below each window, just place your three up stone stone brick slabs on each spruce plank below. So, you're going to have a little bit of an under windowsill. And place one above each center block, which is a normal stone brick slab this time. And you can place one in front of, or place one, place them moving out of each top corner to the glass and just make it opposite down this time instead. Just like that. I personally that think that looks a lot better than anything else. So I'm mean, basically the way I'm making it right now actually is like Victorian style more so. And we'll go to old. And then if you've already done the other side, then you can work on the back. But what you want to do if on the right side, just so I can copy it. It's the exact same. They're the exact same. You want to bring the stone brick backward by 21. Then bring the spruce wood plank back by 19. Then moving front to back, you want to place three th th three spruce planks. Sorry, I don't know why I forgot how to speak there. Three tinted glass. Six spruce planks. Three tinted glass. Four spruce planks. Copy that row two more times. And then place three rows of spruce wood planks on top of that. And then moving front to back, place three spruce planks, three tinted glass, six spruce planks, three tinted glass, four spruce planks. You then want to copy that row two more times. Hopefully you get the drill at this point. At least from here on out, it's fairly uh, less numbers. Actually, it's as many numbers, but whatever. <clears throat> and then you want to place the rest of planks on top of that. And then, again, for each window, place your upstone stone brick slabs below it. Your one stone brick slab, normal stone brick slab above the center of each, and then your up stone stone brick slab on each corner of tin, uh, on each upper corner of tinted glass, or of each window, I guess, just like that. Also, it is worth noting. I'm gonna talk about this when we get to the aging part again. But you can age the spruce wood planks with spruce wood stairs and slabs, even. But slabs is more questionable for a different reason. Um. You could do the same with the stone bricks. You could do the same with the roof. I think the roof probably doesn't need it because it looks very smooth and just kind of clean. Like, it looks very, like, I don't know if it's dirty or if it's just dark. But it is up to you. 
<clears throat> what you decide to do. You don't want to take, bring your, you want to connect your stone bricks together at the back, and then all of your spruce wood planks also together at the back. I don't know why my voice, I don't know why, but my voice is slowly going up during this video. I guess it's fitting, isn't it? Spooky, haunted. I've noticed that <clears throat> that didn't help. I've n I'm good. I've noticed that if I'm not like drinking enough water, if I'm talking a lot, my voice starts cracking. My voice also starts going out. I don't know why it does that, but it is what it is. <clears throat> All right, so you should have this now, and that's your base house kind of sort of fully done. What you want to do now is around the bottom or like the base part ignore the front part ignore the front part that's two blocks tall you want to place around the base part uh polished deep slate slabs and it wants to go all the way around your build and it's um half up, up diagonally outward by one i love the sound of placing these just like that that already makes it look 10 times better and then you want to do the same, but to the front of the top section. So polish deep slate, sl deep slate slabs up diagonally, forward by one. And then you do also want to overhang it on the left and the right by one, and just bring it back by one for now. Uh, sure, it looks good. Now what you want to do is clear your inventory. We're going to need a few of those materials again, but it's fine. And get out nether brick block. Blocks actually, multiple of them. Nether brick stairs, I guess, unless you're in creative. I don't know why stairs is plural, but nothing else is. Cobblestone. Are the walls? No, they aren't. I don't know why the planks are, I guess. Whatever. I guess planks make sense, but stairs don't. Uh, anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. Iron bars. Stone brick slabs. Spruce wood planks. Anything else? Anything else? Polished deep side slabs you still need. I want to say that's everything, and then we'll be done the basic build. So what you want to do is on top of your, uh, whatchamacallit, the, I'll call it the central tower. You want to place two rows of nether brick blocks on top of the spruce. Then place a row of nether brick stairs. And bring it back on either side by six. Which includes the stairs and everything. Um, some of the, some of those are probably most of this won't be seen, but we're just bringing it back the amount that we need so it can mark out what else we do need to do. You can also connect it the back. I actually am going to. It's gonna just mark it out even better. So like that, you want to, you then want to go upward diagonally and inward by one with nether brick. I thought I broke a block. Guess not. Bring it up with a square of nether brick blocks. Then up with nether brick stairs. Inward diagonally, upward with nether brick block. Up with a row of nether brick block. Up with a row of nether brick stairs, or I guess a square of it, and then place a nether brick block in the top center. And that's the central big boy section done. Did I do three? I don't actually know if I did three. Hang on. I did. It just looked like five from the angle that I was at. Just like that. Yeah, it looks... I don't know why. It looks thicker than three. Especially with the thick build. You'd expect it to look less than that, but whatever. Then, on top of the rest of the build, you want to place one row of another brick blocks. On top of all the other screws. This pattern is different. I made it different so it's not as steep because I wanted that top part to be steep. You then want to place a uh, row another, I guess a C of another brick stairs on top of that, like the letter C, not the ocean C. Although I'm sure uh, YouTube captions won't agree with that one. Although I don't even know if YouTube automate autom automates captions anymore. I don't think they do. Don't quote me on that though. And then bring it inward diagonally and upward with the nether brick blocks. Uh, 
up with a row of the brick stairs. And then I want to set one, yeah, one more time. So inward, upward diagonally, inward with the row of the brick blocks. Or I guess a C of them again, the letter C. Um. And then there are going to be another brick stairs for this part that we're going to have to break. Like, specifically two. That's actually the only ones that we need to break for the entire thing. Then bring it up with a C letter, the letter C of another brick stairs. And then fill in the center of this in with nether brick blocks. And then any of this under here, you can destroy. I'm not going to worry about it because I don't do the insides for these. Although this would be fun on a stream, but I don't think I'm going to stream this. Uh, also, I'm going to say this again. Go check my community poll tab for something. Um, because I'm going to struggle with it. With the thing that the question is asking. Uh, so... If any of you have any of the any ideas, any 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 video, any video, any moment from any video, I don't care. I just need suggestions, and I'm think, I think I'm gonna be able to take them up until the twentieth, depending on how it goes. We'll see. But yeah, there you go. There's your build. Is that correct? It is correct. Okay, cool. I don't know why, but it looks weird. Maybe because it's all stone bricks. <laughs> Um, then what you want to do is on the first row of nether brick blocks inside of these nether brick stairs, you want to place a little C, the letter, of iron bars going around. I'm going to say that every single time now. C, the letter. Unless I mean an actual ocean. I'm just going to say ocean, not C. That probably works better. This time the actual body of water. You don't want to place a. You don't want to place stone brick slabs on top of each iron bar. One stone brick slab per iron bar. I had to avoid saying it because uh, it gets repetitive after a while. Just like no one wants to see into your attic, which we somehow avoided in this video until now. <laughs> and then there are. I want to say two things, and then we can get onto the fun part. AKA aging the entire darn thing. So. You have your polished deep slate slabs here. You want to bring it back by one on either side. And then right below that, you're going to notice a little tiny baby gap. And you just want to place a spruce wood plank in it. Just so you can't see into the actual building. That's not an attic. And then that I think is your build done. No, it isn't because we forgot about something funny, which is cobblestone. So take out your cobblestone and... Only on the main roof, not on the um, tower, not on the central tower, that's what I'm calling it, because I don't know what else to call it. But you want to destroy the corners of the main roof section, you want to replace them with cobblestone blocks. Even the stairs want to be replaced with blocks. It just makes it pop a little bit more with, if the blocks are also replacing the stairs. And it gives the roof a side trimming, which is kind of the general goal here. Just like that. And then don't forget about the back two corners as well, which I might have. I didn't forget about them. I was just describing and showing and doing all that stuff. There you go. Now, if you're building a like a thingy for a thingy, yes. If you're building a Victorian village or a Victorian city or town or something, a uh, Victorian neighborhood, I don't know. If you're building something with the word Victoria in it that is in Minecraft and it is structured in a way where people can live there. And you want a house like this. You can just use this. Just completely leave it as is. However, if you want to weather it, I would get out the mossy cobble stone, mossy stone bricks, and then the mossy stone bricks slabs, stairs, and walls. And then crack stone bricks. And for the walls, spruce wood planks. Or spruce wood stairs, sorry, not planks. And then if you want for the roof, you could do like dark oak wood planks. I actually want to see how this will look. I think I did this for the escape room. I want to say I did this for the escape room. So we're going to start with the obvious one, just like, kind of, you can just do like this, if you remember how the porch goes, which I do, and then just, you know, add some moss, 
Add some more moss. Add some even more moss. Add crack. No, I'm not even going to use the crack. I don't think the crack is good for this. Because it's so, like... It just, like, doesn't work, you know? Especially when you're placing it there. God. Yeah, I agree, Minecraft. And then if you just, like, spam break, it'll make it a lot more random. That should be a stair there. So, so should... Nah, it works. Whatever. And then if you accidentally break a block that you shouldn't have, then you can just replace it with the, the thing, yeah. That should be a s stair. And then just, you know, just do this for however long as you want, however much you want it to be. I think I'm happy with this amount on the porch. Let me see. I think I'm happy with that amount. Oh, no, I missed a block. And then both of these got destroyed, which I don't actually think we ever placed these. <laughs> but that's okay. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And then do the same on the base. You can even just, like, every once in a while, just, like, tap it or hold it. And then just replace the old mossy... And then this will give it a certain amount of randomness. And then for the window sill, or for the window frames, or whatever you want to call them. Window detail, you, you can just do it however you want. I would, I would um, hand do that, not just, like, randomize it. Yeah, I want this one, this one, this one. And maybe I want the entire top on this. And then maybe that one. And then maybe for this, I want that, that, that. That, 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 and then maybe that. You get the point here. Maybe I want for this bottom. Maybe I want this bottom one to look fine. Maybe like that. Yeah, see, I like that. And it's nice because it makes it random per each build. And for the mossy, you can just do it however you like. I'm going to do think that. Yeah. And then for the other side, I'll probably do it like fairly okay fairly okay and then for this again just like the random break thingamabob and if you break an iron bar oopsies you should probably replace it if you break one because those are important just adds a little bit more to the building and if you want you could totally add like a little entrance point up here like a trap door or something kind of like squidward's house has in spongebob i don't know where that came from <laughs> at least he has it in like two of the episodes or something i don't know and then, moving on to the sides here, just like this or something, I don't know. Maybe leave the top as is, and the bottom one can get a lot of moss, and then this one can get some moss. Does moss go in shade? How did, where does moss go? I actually don't know. I think it's either, I think it's like something with shade. I forgot these. I knew I was forgetting something. I don't know why, I feel like moss is like, maybe, it's, maybe I think, I think moss is, grows like mold does in like, damp areas like that. I'm happy with that. And then, if you want for the roof, like, you could just like, take like a patch, just break it, and then replace it with dark oak. I kind of want to see how this will look. That's up for debate. It definitely looks. It definitely looks weathered. That a hundred percent looks more weathered. I actually think I am gonna try this for more of it. If you don't like it, then obviously it's you know all personal preference. Thank you for that. Discord.com. Uh, this roof too, but I'm, actually, no, I'll do it, why not, I'm not using the cracked stone bricks anyways. To be like, that. I hate when it does that. Moving on with our lives, alright. Yeah, I like that, I like that, that definitely looks better. And then for the walls, you can just, like, take, like, some of these and just, like, you know, 
place like a spruce wood stair facing in certain directions. Just to kind of give it like some little tiny crevices and stuff everywhere. Just give it a little bit more of an interesting look. You can even do like that or something and just make like larger ones. Yeah, I like that. That look at how much better that one looks. Like I actually really like how the uh little divots and everything look. And then you could do definitely do this on all the sides, just so you know, have a little bit more symmetry to it. But like weathering it more I think is a lot better. I'm actually gonna take a get a thumbnail shot of that one. Cause I definitely need that one as the thumbnail. Because that looks like way better. There you go. I love how that looks. And you also get the grid in so you can see the size, I guess, or whatever. That's not really the intention, but yeah. Look at them next to each other. You can see how much better that right one looks. It's all about the weathering, really, with something like that. I don't know what the heck that just did. But uh, yeah, once you're done that, ladies and gentlemen, that is the exterior for your haunted house complete. That is a fun one to say, because I've never had to say that before. Thank you guys so much. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Have a fantastic day, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.